Hello there viewers, welcome back to Bottom of the League at Christmas, the non-political football manager series. Hit the jingle. <sighs> dear, oh dear. I should have just made a jing an, an intro for this, really. not just a jingle, an intro. But no, this is what we're, this is what we're left with now. So, it'll be over soon. There we go, lovely. Welcome back. Now before we get started, I didn't want to have to bring this up, and I feel, look, this has to be addressed. I've been getting a few comments, viewers, as as you do on the old YouTubes. Some people are not happy with the... So, I mean, I don't really understand it, but some people think this is getting a bit political. Comments like this one and that one, like, come on, guys. I've made it clear this isn't political. We did, though, get a comment from James Beale, who said, that frame's a nightmare, mate. It's honestly worse than Theresa's deal. No frame better than a bad frame. And I want to say right now that James is trying to make this series political, which does annoy me a little bit. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll have a vote on it, a second vote. Do you think the frame should come down or move? Again, drop a like if you want to see action on this. There's a poll at the top. Sort the frame out, yes or no. So yes or no question, simple. All right, sure, we've had a vote before. That doesn't mean democracy's dead. It just means it continues, you know? Democracy is people having the option to change their minds. Not political. But welcome back, viewers. You might be interested. That's been a full minute of non-football manager action. Now, let's see then. Now, what's happened since we last met then? Well, good news. We're still bottom of the league, but we're still seven points off Southampton in 17th. Uh, 28 games played, 10 to go, which means 30 points on the table, which means we can get 49. That would put us in Europe's uh, top seven spaces. So we, that is still possible. The dream's not dead yet. Uh, but first things first, we've made more transfers. It may well be March, but at the end of last episode, I said, we're going to bring in a big name. And I'll kick things off with that big name. Let's do it. And that big name is Sam Vokes, which actually is quite a small name, only eight letters. Um, but still, Sam Vokes is coming. That's right, from Burnley. Uh, very, very happy with the addition. Four appearances so far. No goal scored and a six point Four, seven. It might look foolish, but let me explain everything. We've also brought in uh, Andreas Pereira from Manchester United on loan. That's actually quite a good signing, so well done me. But what you need to realise tactically then is we've changed things up just a touch. We've come away from this uh, this system of having a man behind the striker. It wasn't really working for us. So what we've gone is two natural wingers, uh, whether it be on the right side, Sobby, or someone like Pritchard. I think natural wingers, players that can play on the right side. And uh, Lookman, who's more suited to an inside forward, but is actually very good in the wide position too, with Sam folks up top, either playing in an attack or support duty, depending on who we're playing. Cardiff today, in a couple of days so he's definitely going on as an attack duty uh, it's worth noting as well uh, on the outs of course a few other players left because that's what happens with this team uh, when you bring in the players like Sam Vokes and Pereira you've got to move a few on so we did do lapardo has gone uh, Quarnier has gone Colin Quir yeah he's gone as well um, so more money brought in 39 million basically this has been Ben's financial advice series so far so mm hmm and as you can see, we've bought in 39 million, which just so happens to be the same amount that we have to pay the... It's not political, this series. I don't want anyone to... We'll move on. That's actually billion. So it's a slightly... It's the same number. I mean, it works. If this series was political, that would have been top notch. So today, then, we're going to play Cardiff. And the reason we play Cardiff, of course, is they are 19th. This would be the death nail in the coffin that is this series. Um, if we don't beat Cardiff, viewers, that's pretty much game over. And in the next couple of episodes, in Thursday and Friday's uh, inclusions, there'll be more games. Uh, but obviously, with a bit of transfer, business and i had to clear out that that nonsense up at the start uh let's see how we do then huddersfield versus cardiff in a couple of days let's move forward well so we also had regen day where um well they weren't very good just before we get into today's game uh jorgensen and billing both out injured so that's good that's why you bring in phil jackie elke that's why you bring in Pereira. you know strength in depth oh, just noticed that the cap the cap's eight points now it's getting bigger apparently derm's got a few issues um no all right, then. It's the Monday night game in the Premier League, one that everyone seems to love. And uh, let's go through the team, then, to make sure it's the right team selected for today's game. Jürgensen's going to have to come out as uh, Jagielka slots in there. Kangolo's going to come back into the side as well at left back. And uh, Derm, I think, is going to continue to feature at right back. He's doing quite a good job there. Just to to me that we've not run through the fixtures since we last met. Sorry, it's not like me to leave things out that are actually important, but I'm, sure I'm going to sell this series to you anyway. Even if this series isn't the best, it's going to come off like it's the best series possible at this time. Make no political remarks. So yeah, since the Palace game, a draw and then defeat on penalties to Brighton. That was a, a pretty shambolic series of events, to be honest. Arsenal and Chelsea both beat us, as you probably expect. A 1-1 against Burnley. I mean, shout out to us getting points on the board. Uh, a 91st minute goal and Chris Wood missed the penalty as well. So we got away with that a little bit, uh, especially when we were down to 10 men at one point. And then a 1-0 win over Leicester, in which Jorgensen scored close range from a corner kick. Uh, but we'll take it. 1-0 over Leicester. A very good result. Uh, then City beat us. Only 2-0. Only 2-0. That's poor from them really i mean that, looking back at that that is pathetic from city 
All right, then our team is set in stone. Uh, look, if there's a side that we can beat this season, it's probably Cardiff. Sorry, Cardiff fans. Let's see if we can do it. Let's give the fans a performance to cheer for. They've travelled all the way to Wales. They have to go through that bloody toll booth they've got. Oh, come on. All right, here we go then. We're in the white. They're in the blue on this occasion. And uh, let's see, can we do it? And by do it, I mean go above them in the league table, which is not that much of an achievement at this point. As Derm's already got himself an injury. Oh, damn it. It's made really for the counter-attack. We've got these wide players in wide positions as they're most notably found. And uh, we'll see then. Can Sam Folks be the man to get the goals for us today? As, 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 welcome back Aaron Moy as well into the side. It's been a while since you've seen him. In fact, you've not seen him, I've just realised now. As uh, we bring it forward, you can see Derm has got it. Ball played towards the middle. Andreas with a shot and goal just wide. I say Andreas. It's Andreas Pereira. But he goes by Andreas. It's very confusing. Sobby goes by Ramadan. I don't know what's going on. Just pick your name and stick with it, for heaven's sake. Like, I couldn't just suddenly go, oh, Marmaduke now, can I? Oh, but I could. Corner, played in, and, uh, well, could save from the keeper. Close from Cardiff, though. They, were, they nearly had a goal there. And you can see from the goal line technology, it wasn't in. Thank you, goal line technology. Is it better to be in or out? That's the real question. Moving on. All right, I'm going to certainly say um, I'm not happy with the performance so far. They're fired up after that. Lovely stuff. Let's see. Second half. Let's do it. I'm going to start to get forward a little bit more. Push forward. Come on, boys. Put, put pedal to the metal. Of course, there's options on the bench for us. Okazaki's there and Benz is there. There's, there's, there's things that we can change in this side. As they've got a corner kick, though. Played in. Oh, it's not, is it? It's just, Oh, my God. They've given a penalty. Chip promoting with this. I mean, if he scores, this is a death nail. As he steps up. Oh, Lossie's, uh, Lossel even saves again. Hopefully, I'm saying Lossel right. It's probably not correct. It's like, uh, I don't know what. I was going to say something funny, and it, it went. To be fair, we had a penalty shootout recently in which nine penalties were missed. And that shout out to the goalkeepers. All right, if the game stays like this, I'm going to stick with it for now and then make some attacking changes. Bridcut's going to come off. We're going to bring on Okazaki and really push home, hopefully, our, uh, our away performance, which is so far is going quite well. They're obviously crushed after missing that penalty. That's their chance gone, it begs the question. We're going to go a little bit more balanced, come out of our shell a little more, and make the changes talked about. So Luckman's going to change up to an inside forward as we look to push this. Uh, hopefully, I Hopefully I can describe it as an advantage home. Uh, Okazaki's going to come on as well. And here we go then. Let's see if we can push forward for this. Come on. Ball out wide. Ball into the centre. Ball into the goal. I mean, I will say now, viewers, a point here is not that useful. Oh, God, viewers, a point's not that useful. There's a chance, though. Here we go. Free kick to Aaron Moy. P finds Okazaki the substitute. Ram oh, dearie me. Sobby knee scored there. I mean, we'll go attacking for the final few seconds, but we know this will probably result in nothing. I mean, viewers, isn't a way point something we can be proud of? It's not a... Hold on. Moy delivers. Lookman's there. Oh, that would have been a beautiful moment. Well, it's a nil-nil draw, viewers. This is what you tuned in for. A relegation battle where a nil-nil helps nobody is looking like the result of the game today. Unless... Well, no, there we go. The ref blows the full-time whistle as Cardiff attack. They'll be fuming about that. Shout out to Phil and Jackie Elka, who kept a clean sheet. The fact we've kept a clean sheet at all there is some miracle. They've missed a penalty. So I guess in that respect, we'll kind of take it. But if you're going to survive in this division, you probably have to beat the team in 19th. Uh, especially when you're the team in 20th. Look, this has not gone as well as, as hoped. Right, the next time we meet, I think we should probably potentially actually be Southampton and maybe the Liverpool game as well before the end of the season uh, games against Manchester United and Newcastle, which will decide our fate, hopefully, unless it's before that, in which case things will change. If you enjoyed today's video, then please do leave a like. If you've got any tactical advice, it's too late. This is... I've, I, it's too late. It's obviously too late. But I am interested to see what you would have done differently. Maybe attempt this challenge yourself. Simulate the game to the uh, to the Christmas period. See who's bottom. Take them over and let me know how you get on. Out Dr. Benji on Twitter. Let me know how you're doing with them. Uh, so then, we'd love with care. From me, Dr. Benji, until next time, I'll see you again soon with some, some more political, non-political football manager content. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Are you waving? Just me. Okay. I've paid for it. You might as well listen to it.